Chris Humphreys, Lynn Kira, Macy Medeiros, Felipe Osis Koenig, and this is the APTA Tour. See you at Shore Hills. Hello and welcome to the APTA Tour. We are live from the Short Hills Club bringing you the Short Hills Grand Prix, a 2022-23 APTA Tour event, which is the 10th stop on the APTA Tour, presented by Remedy Plus and sponsored by the APTA membership, the APTA national sponsors, Paddle Pro Infusion, and local sponsors. Get ready for this, we got a lot. Core Private Wealth, they're our lead sponsor. Via D, Maplewood Ford Lincoln, Xenon, Club Pilates, Smith Chiropractic, Paper Ribbon Wrap, Spiro Harrison Nelson, Wet Ticket Brewing, New Jersey Men's Platform Tennis Association, and the New Jersey Women's Flex League. I'm Patty Hogan, along with the one and only Anthony Casamano, bringing you the women's finals here between the number two seeded team, Roxy Anika and Gabby Nicolescu, versus the number four seeded team, Lynn Kiro and Macy Medeiros. Anthony, we've got quite a match in our hands. Can you uh, point out who's who on the court here? Good, sure. Good morning, Patty. Great to be here. A, a nice overcast day in Short Hills, which uh, paddle players love. Let's go from the top left hand part of the screen right now. We have uh, Lynn Kiro uh, on the due side of the court and her partner Macy Medeiros to her left, starting on the bottom right hand side of the court. Uh, Roxy Enica and her partner Gabby Nicolescu. You want to take a quick look at how they got here? Let's see if we can get a draw graphic. Road to the finals. Yeah, there you go, Anthony. Look at that. Fantastic. Great, great, great graphic. So, Enik and Nick Nicolescu had a good match against Morgan and uh, Sakura. It was actually the Morgan and Sakura have been playing great paddle. Um, so, a 6 3, 6 2 win against them was a, a decided uh, victory there. Very nice match. And then they played Shea and Sutter in the semifinals. Uh, a three set match there. On the other side of the draw, Kiro and Medeiros played Cooper and Petrini, some partners <laughs> seeing each other again on the other side of the court, 6 2 6 1. And then a really good match against, of course, Hanish and Zagori. I watched that match, it was fantastic, 7 5, 7 6. Yeah, Anthony, it's a two out of three set match, regular scoring. And I mean, what incredible play all throughout yesterday. And, and I think you, you got to watch both women's semifinals. I did, I did, and I learned a lot yesterday. Uh, one of the things I, I noticed, I commentated for Kiro and Medeiros for Boston. And, uh, you know, one of the strategies we were talking about back then was uh, working Kiro in the screens. And I've noticed a huge difference just yesterday that she was mastering the screen, she was lobbing. Uh, both M Macy obviously lob lobs well um, uh, on a regular basis, but Lynn's game on its, between the two uh, tournaments has really stepped up. I think they have a fantastic chance today. I'm really leaning that way right now. What about you, Patty? Yeah, Anthony, um, I think the amazing thing is this is Kiro's second year really in competitive play. And there were a lot of people, the moment she hit her first ball, said she's destined to win a women's nationals and it won't be long. And then here you have Macy Medeiros, who, in her second year of competition, won a women's national title. You have Gabby Nicolescu, who, in her second year of competition, won a women's national final. I mean, that just shows you how good and how talented they are. And, you know, their upset yesterday of Hanish Sabori, I wouldn't call it an upset. They, they played a rock solid match, yeah. and everybody who watched just said it was just exceptional. I watched the tiebreaker this morning, Anthony, just to kind of get a feel for the match, and I was just floored with the coverage at the net that you, know, you see from Kira Maduris. There are no holes, and it just, you know, paddles all about matchups, as you know as well as anyone, and it's just, you know, who's gonna defend, you know, Maduris, and Kira can defend all the offense from Nicolescu and Nanika. So I think it's going to be, they're going to have to show much more discipline and patience, I think, because they're not going to find many holes, you know, that uh, Medeiros and uh, Kira are going to yeah. present. They're uh, just not going to be any. I, I couldn't see any holes yesterday watching on either side, really. So it's, it's going, to, going to be interesting. And one of the, the comments you just made, uh, that a lot of these women have won national championships in their second year. That's unheard of on the men's side, right? Unbelievable. It really is. And on the men's side, you, we always tell everyone as you're coming up and you're a phenomenal tennis player that you need a few years. Learn the screens, learn the strategy, 
get that mental toughness up from year to year. And um, I don't think we even have something close on the men's side. So that's a testament to these, the skill of these women. And of course, you know, they're, they're all proven tennis players. So they have that mental aspect uh, locked down. And I will say uh, that's obvious as well. They, in big points, they're all playing very solidly. I think, uh, I think serving could be a question for me with um, Anika Nicolescu because uh, Medeiros and Kiro are just going to pounce on those short serves and the serves not hit with a lot of pace. So I think Nicolescu and Anika are going to really have to maybe move around a little bit more at the net than what they're used to doing. And I think they're going to have to show some different formations, whether it's I Australian staying back. Yeah, we'll see. I that think a lot. I think they're going to have to try, you know, everything in the kitchen sink to pull this match out. I just think that Medeiros and Kiro, I mean, their play yesterday just was incredible. And Kiro, in her second year, she's got the poise, she's got the discipline, she's got the presence. And it's her court awareness. And I noticed in watching the tiebreaker last night um, against Hannah Zabori, you know, they can just cover for each other. And they do it and then hit quiet volleys. Like, they know how to defend in the moment. The offensive, you know, onslaught that comes their way. And I think that's key. And I think Nicolescu, Anika, they're going to have to be ready. They, they have much more active hands on their volleys. And you see, like, you know, they'll miss a chunk of swinging volleys. And I just don't think Medeiros and Kira are going to miss, you know, six volleys in a set here. Okay, so what I'm hearing, Patty, <laughs> is the pressure is really on Nicolescu and, and uh, Anika. Uh, I think uh, we'll see that in the first couple of games to see who comes out just raring to go and who might be a little tight. And I think you're right. I think uh, Kiro and, and Medeiros are going to come out tenacious. And I think uh, we'll see if, if uh, Anika and Nicolescu can uh, start well early, because that's going to be a key in this first set. I want to quickly introduce our umpire for the day, Mark Bliss, putting a ball in his pocket. He is ready to go. It's not too cold today, but it always feels colder when you're up in the umpire's chair. It looks like Kiro and Medeiros are starting the serve, and Lynn Kiro is holding the ball, so. And deliberately, like, they have a plan all the time. I, I kind of see Macy Medeiros as, like, an on-court player coach. I, I really admire her ability to make tactical adjustments. Um, and, you know, she's not headstrong in going with what she does great. She's really headstrong about her tactical you know, adjustments that she makes, I think, against who her opposition is. And I think that's what makes the greatest of players in this game. So would you say she's the best strategist on the court? I would. You would? I would. So that's, she's the, the Drew Broderick of the strategists. I would, I would put her right there. And Macy starts to serve. Yep, right away you saw Nicolescu sneaking in and you know, yesterday, the rest of the tournament, Anika returned serve from that ad court, where you can see today they have switched sides, and Nicolescu is going to be pouncing <laughs> from that ad court. And in my opinion, that's where she is a stronger player than in the deuce court. She's phenomenal in the deuce court. These players can play. <laughs> Every player can play both sides really well, but I just think the presence of Nicolescu, you know, any ball the team volley short she pounces through the middle i just feel like she has a greater range than anika does and uh, really will make her opponents pay for anything short in the middle okay. with four hands at the moment. A lot of swinging away early. Maybe establishing some expectations. Be ready to, better be ready to volley up there. Yeah. Box is taking six good swings already. She looks very comfortable. 
And I love the Anika drive out of that juice court, Anthony, and I think for them to do really well here, they have to, you know, feed off each each other and you know they're never gonna win it with a knockout blow on a drive because I just think Medeiros and Kira are just phenomenal volleyers. Um, so it's going to really come down to a combination of the shots and forcing a weaker, shorter volley where then they have potential to, you know, hit a spot that can't be returned. That's one of the things I tell. Gabby's looking for the blitz for sure. So it's one of the things I tell some of the younger tennis players coming into the sport is they, they always think that their big drive is the winner. They have to learn that's not the winner. It's the next shot or the next shot. So use that big drive to set up the next two or three. Yeah, that's a great point. Interactions. And that helps yeah. people prevent hitting 100% speed on yeah. that drive. Because if you're thinking that it has to be the winner, you tend to yeah. overhit it. Line on that swing brings it to deuce. This is the 71st Short Hills Invitational event. Anthony, you've been lucky enough over the years. You probably got to play in 15 or so, would you say? Probably, if not more. And I have had the pleasure of winning this tournament one year with well, David Caldwell. Nice. One of your favorite tournaments of the tour, Fine. Anthony? Absolutely. Just the crowds, the the warm welcome. I mean, the Short Hills Club puts on an incredible show, gracious hosts for everybody in the paddle community. And you know, I just love the atmosphere these, this weekend. Casey just dipped that over the net. Gabby was there, but wasn't able to pop that up enough. So yes, the weird, interesting thing about this tournament is the spectators. It's a different group and it electrifies you when you play this. They're all walking around all of the courts. They're cheering for you in the corners. Um, it really is a fun tournament to play and you feel like the spectators are really involved. We're already seeing that this morning. How many spectators have given you advice when you play? That's what I used to love about playing here. Everybody would tell me what to do. I'd be in a changeover. Patty, why don't you do that? I, I think I've seen you in my corner once or twice at this tournament, Patty. Just saying hello. Uh, just saying hello, right? I don't know what the rules are about that. But. And Kira Medeiros play a very good first game to start this out. One love. Real fast. We have 420 players playing in three days of this event, Anthony, and we've got to cover our bases on this. Want to just give us a quick rundown of what's, sure. what's occurred so far? 420 players, 18 clubs, six separate events going on. And 16 teams, don't forget, 16 teams played in the 95s. 95 on the men's side? I think you know the guys who won it? Yes, so I know these guys very well. On the 95 side, John Shahadi, Urban, and that, and on the women's, uh, there was a 64 women's B, and Campbell and Seedham won uh, that side of it. And we'll catch up in a few moments on the rest of this. We just had that quick exchange, which I expected to see a lot of. I, I, I didn't really think either team would go into a slow down lob. I thought that each team, every time they got an opportunity, would take their shot. Yeah, so far that's what we're seeing. lot of people in the know. All these Short Hills people know there's at least three teams who have a really good shot to win the national championships. Zabora and Hanush just on fire the last two years. But suffered their second loss of the season yesterday, but you know, all kudos to the play of Medeiros and Kiro. And they have the ability with you know their athleticism, their shots, their composure to you know, really win. They have a shot to win Chicago match. For sure. For sure, and this, uh, you know, this is a, the right time to start peaking, and we're certainly we're seeing that from here in Madeira. And it's not up. It's not up. Oh. 
That's not a horrible thing to, uh, 30, I'm sure Hanish and Zubori would disagree, but it's not a horrible time to lose right now. You regroup, you refocus, and you come out super ready for the, for the Nationals. So we have another break point here. She can spot her lobs, and I think you'll see a lot of that. They'll stay away from the, yeah. you know, really forceful overhead that Nicolescu hits on, on a diagonal, you know, coming out of that ad court lob, and they'll, Medeiros will go up the line all day long, I think, and she on did, Anika. She did that religiously yesterday, just deep lobs, and then followed, looked for her forehand and closed on that. That's, she's got many strengths, but that one is the... One that's so reproducible and a high percentage. So we're at two love, 15 love, Lynn Kiro serving. Play tennis at Texas Tech. Big, big return. So here at the Short Hills Club, did want to thank a few people Brian Skinner, the tournament director, and Crystal Skinner, Derek and Christina Bowen, Jerry and Diane Brown. Glenn Gang, general manager here, the Short Hills maintenance staff and kitchen and wait staff. They always, that's one of the reasons why I love this tournament. The food is great, the amenities are great, everything is uh, always perfect. Um, Isabella, the events coordinator, and uh, Blake Anderson, who was the uh, previous pro here. And that was he, he worked to uh, help map out all the courts and, and sites so, for the players. Right, and so he's a fair one. Yes. Still very involved in getting all of the many, many courts, 19 different clubs participated. Really strong start here for Kiros, yeah. Kiro Medeiros, Anthony, and, you know, Nicolescu and Anika. They're front runners, you know, they're... They're, they, they, you know, we haven't seen them have the need to dig out of holes because mostly when they play, they're ahead. So that'll be the interesting thing to me if, if you know, they get in a little bit of a hole here. You know, how how the they start see it and what bit, tactics right? they might come up with. And like I said, they're going to have to throw in the kitchen sink to pull off a win here because I just think Medeiros and Hero will, will probably only make... You know, total unforced errors, so few. Yesterday was just such a clean match. Really one of the highest level women's matches I've seen. You know, the little I saw of it, but from what I've heard from everybody. Two lobs hitting the sideline in a row. And my only hesitation, my only worry about Kiro Majiris uh, starting this match would be a slow tentative start, but that's, we're seeing the opposite. They are completely comfortable and confident. And we're up three love. Anthony, the other tournaments that took place the other day. I just have to talk. The women's B had 64 teams in it. They played into like 8.30 or 9 o'clock um, out here Friday night, and there were 50 people cheering that match on. And, and the amazing thing about this tournament, six different divisions. We have people, you know, think about, we've got people in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s in the open, in the Grand Prix, men and women. I mean, that's remarkable. Name another sport where people can compete on a level playing field. And that's, you know, you get you gain wisdom in this game. You know, Absolutely. your knees hurt more, but you gain you, you know, the know-how, how to navigate through matches, how to make those tactical changes. And, you know, you see the up-and-comers, and then you get a, a unique up-and-coming team player like a Lynn Kiro, and she just has that it factor. She's got the intangible, you know, it just seems like she's an old soul on a paddle court, even though she's a newbie. Right. And we, you talk about the, yes, maybe the body slows down, but the brain the brain doesn't. And the experience you gain in paddle tennis, since it's not as you know, physically grueling as tennis covering such a large court, um, that even if the body slows down, your game can still get better. And we see that with, uh, like 
you said, a lot of the older players that are still on the tour. I was about to say some names, but I don't want to. I don't want to offend anyone. No names. Do. <laughs> and it's not offensive that they're older, no, but they're I still it's, it's, right, they're still right. phenomenal players. But uh, and it's interesting because uh, I'm, I've been playing a lot with younger players at my club now, and you know the, the the talent level is tremendously high, but they just don't necessarily have the full package yet, and they'll, and they'll get it. One way to get it is getting in tournaments, getting it handed to you. Mm -hmm. You get a little closer each time. But I kind of like that. And you can, Nikolescu would just let it go through. And Kiro and Medeiros, no, they didn't want to take the net. Forced error because I said they would only they would only have five. Yeah, that, that I think you have to put that in the unforced error. Okay. okay. serve has enough depth yep. or pace yeah. it's got a little bit of spin but these these returns are way too good no yeah, i agree and, and even you know, I, I don't dislike the, the looks switching to uh, aussie and, and moving back and forth but i actually don't think it's working in their favor right now i think nicholas has got too far to run to cover that volley. Two similar missed volleys we saw from Lynn, but she's being aggressive. I like it. She's coming into the court. She's putting a lot of pressure. And that won't pay dividends later. Big game here. Your point about playing Australian, our buddy Dave Broderick always says, Australian doesn't make your serve better. Right. <laughs> It changes their shot from a cross-court return, where the open space is straight ahead. But it's a lot of court to cover, especially with the quick contact. Release that ball is over on Nico Nikolescu's side before, you know, you know, in a split second. Really hard to get in a really good volley position. Sutter, just an incredible match. And Anika and Nicolescu pulled out. Um, we were talking about the overheads, and 
Nicolescu tends to hit just that roller all the time, and, and Shea and Sutter had m made great adjustments to it. We were thinking, ah, you know, she needs a little bit more variety, and I think that's what you're going to see in Medeiros and Kira. They bring that hit factor with their overheads, much more variety in the overheads. You'll see a lot of grip changes to you know, facilitate the different overhead options that they, they yeah. give themselves. That's a good point, Patty. And at, at this level, uh, things that you do similar over and over again, the good players, they just, they see it so clearly, they jump on it so quickly. You really need to be able to change up your look, change up the where you're striking the ball, the level of spin you have on it. You're only winning points when you're keeping your opponents off balance. You saw that Darius got a really short lob there. You saw her grip go way over so that she could just crush that roller overhead there. But then Medeiros will do a total flip, move her, you know, her grip on her handle, almost, you know, an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, that will then, you know, give her that slash option. I remember the first time I saw Medeiros play, when that run, the great run to win the Nationals with Redesno and Darien. You know, I'd never seen a serve like this. We see a lot of the Sardom serving in the game, but you know, Macy stumbled upon this serve and just lets that ball. She has that contact point that she knows where it is. And she just goes after it. It looks so close to football, but she's never made football Friday, I don't think. I don't think so. I think the paddle boys have been looking for it, but she's never made that. They're just playing such clean paddle right now. And so she's got the closest thing to a a roller topspin forehand without actually doing it. The ball gets low enough, but she's still hitting it mm -hmm. overhand, so it's a very unique serve. But it stays low. It stays as low as a sidearm serve. Let's get something going here. 40, 15. Well, I mean, you think, what does it take to win a point? She looked, she had to put everything into it. I mean, I've just seen that return to serve break down many a team. to win that point. 40, 30. Yep, and they're talking about that feed to Nicolescu. <laughs> Probably won't see right. Gabby get such a joyful moment again. Maybe there's a better spot to put it. <laughs> Very briefly to say hi to Roxy and Gabby before the match, I asked them if they had any specific strategy or anything that we could speak about up here, and they were very close to the best. They didn't want to share anything. And that's game. Five love. Paddlepro.com. For over 20 years, Paddle Pro has been recognized as an Industry leader in platform tennis, the knowledge, expert advice, vast inventory, and ultimate cu customer service will help any player find the perfect equipment to take your game to the next level. PaddlePro is the only website to carry all platform tennis brands. For more information, go to PaddlePro.com. So, what are we thinking at 5-Love? Are we thinking let's get into the next set and settle in, or are we going to try to fight here? They're going to fight. They've got to fight. Can't win a paddle match if you can't hold serve. So they're going to have to really dig in deep here just to have some, something positive going Bring into the second the set. Set. It's always good to have a little air going into the second set for sure.
Easy after she hit a big forehand. So, Patty, I don't want to put you on the spot here, but we know how well Gabby and Gabby Nicolescu and Roxy and Hika, uh, how their record is after losing the first set. Truthfully? I, <laughs> I know I lived in that world. I can't tell you how many times my partner and I lost the first set and fought, fought, fought to come back and win the match. That was just why. So we have our statisticians working on that. Yeah. Let's get our people on it. <laughs> our people are on it. Uh, it's the great thing about platform tennis. You can lose the first set and, and not be phased at all. Ah! Disappointed but not phased. Just instant delete. Anika and instant delete. Nick are going to have to hit the delete button and, and kind of stick together as a team here. Keep their lines of communication open and just try to work together. Try to get a game out of this set. Yeah. Hey, you know, Anthony, you get one, you might get two. Absolutely. And that's the thing, you know, it's the finals, I don't think. I think these guys, you know, they're all out here full-time teaching pros, and three sets, no big deal for any of them. He should be hitting more of these overheads into that corner. I don't know. Like you said, Gabby uh, is hitting that roller over and over and over again. Is it the best strategy? Mm. I mean, it broke down when Kiro in that first time we've seen it at five blocks. So I'm not sure that's a. Right. I think that if Anika gets over and covers the middle like she's doing right there, yeah. that's much more so than I've okay. seen her do in the past. I think that's a huge adjustment for them. And they're on the board. Five games to one. Nika's the uh, pro up in New Canaan, and she's got a huge following here from the New Canaan Field Club. They did the road trip, set up a tent up in Boston. They're here, you know, cheering Roxy on. It's just, you know, it's the flavor and how the sport is growing, and I love the support from the memberships, and Roxy's got a huge fan club. Nicolescu teaches over at the Patterson Club. Kiro is has a brand new job and will start soon at Roxidicus. Okay. Um, Roxidicus Club, she comes over from Montclair and Madeiras is director of rackets at Rolling Hills Country Club up in Wilton, Connecticut. Kiro Madeiras, not really on top of the net. There's a lot of room in front of them, and Roxy hit that dipper ball, you know, real controlled swing. Huge confidence booster. Yeah. 
again. That was one. Oh, great hands by Mankiro. Unfazed by Gabby Nicholas go right in her face. Well, and that's what Kira Medeiros did so well, everybody said yesterday. Just when the onslaught came from Hanish and Zabori, they just were able to defend it. And Gabby with the big back swings, and Lynn, Kiro, and, and Macy are not backing up. Just to your point, they are just putting their feet in there, settling in, and leaning forward for that volley. momentum. I always call that the accordion. When you see that, that baseline player is going to rip a drive. I think close on you've got to close in. You've got to bail altogether if you're too far back or close in. You can't let that ball dip below the level of the net. It feels like the points have changed in this last game. I know they did win the last game, but this game itself, I think they've settled in. They're playing longer points, and it looks like they're setting their lobbing well. Just feels like it turned a little bit, and maybe, maybe there's still some life in this set, but I think the second set's also going to be a lot different. Can't afford to make those mistakes, though, right here towards the end of the set. Did you see the depth on that Kiro Valley? She just sticks her back to and she's got such hands. They've all been back there. I keep, I keep getting yeah, closer I to the screen because they look like they're going out. But you're right, the last many volleys have been within a few inches of that baseline. There's no way to follow up a drive. Right, and you just don't see many players who have the ability to force an error from Nicolescu off of a volley. Yeah. Men's final coming up after this. Jerron Mitchell, uh, John Hughes, Mark Powers. 3-6, 6 4 6 3 and one men's semifinal earlier this morning in Humphrey's Osis Coming. Defending national champs, Burris and Ergoya, 7 6 6 4 And we have a point for the first set. Drive. You're looking for a short volley so you can get another good drive, and they're not giving them the second drive. And it's not like they're not lobbing well. They're lobbing very well. Just deep. And that's the first set. First set goes to Kira Medeiros. 6-1. We will be right back in just a moment after these messages right here on the APTA YouTube channel presented by My Paddle.
Uh, screen drive is an offensive drive they use when someone hits an overhead hard off of the back or side screen. You allow the ball to go to the wire and you follow it. And then instead of hitting the ball of the deck, you just hit the ball of the screen. <laughs> you take the ball off the screen and you drive it. It has a lot of pace, especially in the warmer weather. You turn around and use their pace to return the ball back with interest. High performance never tasted this good. Chocolate, berries, cinnamon, agave. Fuel your body with the shot and the bar. Now available in a deliciously energizing power pack. See how much farther you can go with Remedy Plus. Welcome to CI Private Wealth. Here, you'll find a profoundly different wealth management experience. With the strength of our parent, CI Financial, we've built a diverse, world-class wealth management firm at a size and scale like no other. That means no matter how complex, extreme, or niche your wealth goals may be, you'll be matched with an advisor who can help navigate all of life's many challenges whether personal or professional, so you can stay focused on the journey. Our advisors are the reason why our strategies are so unique, why our services are so personal, and why your wealth management experience can be so profoundly different. Get started today. Welcome back to the AP, APTA tour presented by Remedy Plus. This is women's final action with Kieran Medeiros uh, winning that first set 6-1 over our tournament number two seeds, Roxy Anika and Gabby Nicolescu. I'm Patty Hogan alongside Anthony Cosimano Mano, and calling this action. I mean, Anthony, oh boy. If I'm Kieran Medeiros, I'm really happy. What a rock solid first set. I didn't see any chink in the armor. There was no no <laughs> areas of void. They just phenomenal. I, I don't know. I don't know what Gabby Gabby and and Roxy are going to talk about to change this strategy. I don't think their strategy is the problem. But like you said, they've been rock solid. Now what happens next though? Next is um, you know Macy and and Lynn Kieron Medeiros uh, might start thinking that they're going to win this match. So maybe the mental aspect changes. Roxy and and uh, Gabby have been here many, many times, and um, I don't think they're going to go away. I think they will be as tough as they can be, and I think the first couple of games, as, as usual, will dictate if they are making the right adjustments to come back in the second set. I am not counting them out. Um, I never count anybody out. I think they're going to have to figure out how to really love better to give themselves some much more frequent and better looks. Um, you know, because the court coverage at the net, for the most part, Kiram, Kiram and Jiris have just come up with everything. Everything. And there's no void, and I just think in matches like this, when nothing's working, it, in women's play, it comes down to law placement. It airs them out, gets, gets some more height, gets some more depth, and say, okay, let's go. Let's, let's pick on Waldo. Who's going to be Waldo? Let's, let's see what happens when we, you know, lob Kiro six points in a row, six shots in a row. I mean, I just think we're going to... They're going to have to test a couple things and try to figure it out here. Yeah, not, hitting it too hard is not the answer. But, you know, I was going to challenge you a little bit on that, but I think actually the later part of that statement was right. They, they, I thought I was trying to see if they were lobbing well, and I felt like uh, Nicholas and Anika are actually lobbing well, but they're not lobbing with the variety that you said, right? Pick on someone, choose something, high or left, right. I think that will be the key. Um, it's not like they're lobbing short. They weren't giving winners to, to Kira and Medeiros, but, um, but maybe it's that variety you were talking about earlier. I think it's variety of placement. I mean, that's what I have a huge regard for Medeiros' game, how she just places and like spots her lobs. I, I think of that with, when I think of Flora Hanish. Just has the ability to constantly make the net team work really, really hard. 
and I, I don't think that's ever a focal point from Anika and Nicolescu in their game plan, but I think that, that could yeah. be one that no, might be useful right now to zero in on. No, as, you're, as you're saying it, it makes a lot of sense. Okay, right there, you see Anika, player to the left, from our vantage point, she hit kind of a slice of that. And that's what, she's got a little variety on the overhead. 15, 30. Nika's got a little bit of a sore arm, so I'll be curious here, you know, as she kind oh, of okay. unloads on stuff, you know, what she's able to do comfortably. But I, I like that little, little different overhead right there. Oh, still a lot of pressure, but great first volley. Where do y'all? Nika. little blip there. This is a, a big game. Roxy just took her focus off of that lob just a little bit. Break point in the first game. Roxy serving and serves wide. Game zero in the air. They leave one game to love. You know, Second set. like I said, it's hard to win zero paddle matches if you don't hold you serve. Don't. <laughs> Do the math. I don't mean to sound harsh, but it's the truth. <laughs> well, we know. You can't fault. Faulting in paddle tennis is it's really the enemy, and uh, it's hard enough to win points, and we know it's a game of errors, and giving away one point or two points on a serve is, is really hard to come back from, especially how well Kira and Medeiros are playing. They're not giving anything away. Yeah, we haven't talked at all about uh, the Kira serve. We talked about her ground strokes. You know, the second year of paddle, she's phenomenal. She's got the instincts. And I love her serve. I mean, she gets that natural depth. And, you know, sometimes she flips her bat a little bit more than a lot of players coming in from the ad court over to her forehand. But she just can serve her way out of trouble. Not a lot of players can do that on the women's tour, I don't think. No, you're right. I think the ladies' uh, women's tour um, is more specific. I mean, uh, listen, breaking in paddle is, is very common, breaking serve. But, yep, uh, men or women's game. Yes, it's, it's, it's ubiquitous, but the Lynn Kiro serve is, is a long Tennessee swing serve. But uh, she, it's got good pace on it. She can spot it well, and it's, it's very, it's at the top of the game. Played last season with Vanessa Petrini, the breakthrough tournament down in Philly. Pulled off a great couple of wins. Um, and then Kiro uh, hooked up to play this year after the first tournament with Macy Medeiros. And you know, they they were focused and working on building the game together. They you know, had some decent results, but you know, Macy started the season with her eye on the gold. That's all she's thinking about. Have you worked toward that? And you talked about peaking, peaking at the right time of year. And, Exactly what we're seeing here with uh, Kira and Medeiros. That's what happens sometimes. We jinx our, our, <laughs> our players on the court For by sure. saying how, how great their serves are or their shots are. And uh, Kira, you know, won the Long Island event, uh, and then we're semifinals in Boston and Detroit. They lost in Boston to Morgan Sakura. They lost in Detroit to Anika Nicolescu, and they were really looking to, to a rematch. That's the first big hard overhead we've seen from Macy Medeiros. She did that a lot yesterday. It's the first time she's pulled it out today. Yeah, that's the variety. You know, she can load up from the legs and just power that ball. Uh, and a second fault from Lynn Kiro to bring it back to Deuce. Hugely important game here. 
for Nicolescu and Ika. <laughs> and yes. Ika, right? <laughs> well, but, you know, like we said, Lynn Kiros, she's uh, got a strong serve. She's most likely to hold on this court of the four players. And if she is broken now, this uh, it, it gives Anika and Nicolescu a good shot here. Still doesn't. And Kira knew exactly how to defend it. Right. It's yeah. not, oh, even though it's opening up space, they're co re recovering and covering those volleys. Per, you know. And you notice, Anthony, she came all the way over, covered a lot of court. The entire left side of the court was open. Was open. But it didn't matter because she was just going to hit the ball to the same side of the court where they were set up to defend the next shot. You know, she resisted the temptation to swing it over and then put him in a, you know, better position to defend the next, the next shot. Oh, so that ball was wide. Advantage to Nika and Nikolaska. You know, Kira hits a little bit of a flatter type of overhead, Anthony. And I think as her game <laughs> progresses, watch out because when she adds some of that evil spin. Is, and, and just the fact that you said that, Patty, mm -hmm. the next time we watch her play, she'll have a different <laughs> over. I, I, I truly believe that. I think she's a student of the sport. And she will, <coughs> excuse me, hear a maybe potential weakness, and yeah, she's going to be working on that right. <laughs> next right. week. And with her height, you know, she's not been forced to do it right. yet. And then I think what happens is as you go deeper and deeper in this game, and you've got to have all different shots to offset the skills of the other team, you know. It's not a weakness right now, but right. It, could, it can become a strength. And everybody who comes to the sport from tennis has to learn to let that ball get to them and, you know, to let it drop versus a tennis overhead where you would go and attack it. You know, there she hit the ball fairly flat. She could wait a little bit longer on that, you know, for a contact. But she's got that height, you know. Got that ball into that corner for Nikolaska. She, she couldn't attack it, even though Kiro hit the overhead from you know well beyond the service line. Come on! Nice! That was a critical game and uh, a huge break for Anika and Nikolaska. I think that's going to give them a little momentum into this next game. I think this next game is equally important. And there was a tiny little adjustment. Anika took that ball a little bit off pace, but way cross court and got the error from uh, Madeiras flipping her paddle over. You know, Madeiras was packed in to defend the middle, first looking to defend with a backhand volley and then had and to then flip it over it. at the last second. Chiefs, I mean. Go Chiefs? Okay. Yeah, but um, I'm, I think so. I'm, I know I'm pulling for the Chiefs, but I know Philly's a s small favorite, but. I'm pulling for the Chiefs because the they're Chiefs. running backs. Two Rutgers grads. Got to love that. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Ann Waldron, who does all the coordinating for the live streaming, working with uh, different vendors, the APTA uh, hires to broadcast this action live from all around the country. Shout out to my paddle here today and the whole crew. Of course, Jake, above and beyond everybody. And again, Tierney Cabana doing it all this weekend, watching all the action. <laughs> And Kiros got out of the way as much as she could, and yep. then the lead cord still dribbled onto her back. So that's a fun point. And Anthony, just a little APTA shout out here. We've got the team nationals that you're going to be one of our co coordinators yes. for, co chair. So excited. So exciting for your help up uh, in North Jersey, we'll call it. And yes. We're expecting 
you know, sell out crowd. And at least 50 women's teams, I think, are going to be signed up by this Wednesday. So get ready, Anthony. So yes, we'll be hosting some of those uh, matches at the Brookside Racquet Club. So. Yes. Huge shout out to Sandy, yes, the owner of Brookside, for his graciousness around this event and really having a willingness to help us out in any way, you know, to make the event a success. He seems to be moving around a little bit more in that net, creating a little bit more uncertainty. There from all the sides. Great shot. Roxy found the corners almost two times in a row. Caused that error. They're up 40 15. So I think this is a big game if they can. Uh, win one of the next two points. That's just the, what they need for the mental momentum. You see the game face on yeah. there? <laughs> <laughs> look from Nicolescu to Anika right there? I think I heard Jerry say that yesterday. That was the step into my office. I think that look was Nicolescu saying to Anika, that's why I should be the overhead, <laughs> overhead queen. Person. I want to be over there on that left side. Yeah. Well, and Roxy just did the same thing on the other side of the court too. So. Quick shout out to Kelly Fisher out in Pittsburgh. Loving the live streaming. Kelly's a teaching pro out in that area. One of the most fun people I've ever met in the sport of platform tennis. We love Pittsburgh Paddle. What's the mindset right here of Kieran Medeiros, Anthony? I was just thinking the same thing. I mean, is it time to change anything right now? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think. Uh, you know, they're feeling it now. They're down 2-1, and maybe their shots are going to be a little different, but I don't think they're going to change strategy. This is where you just have to buckle down. Can you feel like Nicolescu and, and Nick are feeling it a little bit here? For sure. And this is where Medeiros and Kiro, every time Zabor and Hanish were feeling it, they were able to defend able to that counter. situation and, yeah, encounter beautifully. And I just expect that from them as a team. Definitely got a gift there from Roxy and Ika. Keep those to a minimum. this past week of Lynn Kiro named as her new uh, director of everything rackets at Proxiticus. the face of that shot, nothing to it. And that's her range, I mean, her yeah. court coverage. A little different than mine, Anthony. For sure, and, and mine. <laughs> she takes two steps and covers the entire court. But that's what I've been noticing all day. That it's not like they're not lobbing well, but Kira and Medeiros are just recovering so well. They're not, they're, you know, it's, it's textbook paddle. Bring your opponents back off the net, see the opening, drive into that low spot, and win a point. And we're not getting that win a point part of it. I do like the Anika play where she blitzed 
you know, a deep lob to Kiro. And I like that play occasionally. Yes, that's one of the biggest swings we've seen from Roxy and Mika right now. Uh, this this set and this probably match. Too hot to handle. Man, I love the Anika drive coming out of the deuce course. Great spot We're at two all. It's the voice of Mark Bliss, longtime APTA umpire. Mark's a member here of the Short Hills Club. It's been a tremendous asset paddle community here at Short Hills, doing a little bit of everything, helping running this tournament for years and years. Huge swing. Oh, oh boy. Huge, great volleys. Look at that touch. I mean, that showed a lot of poise there. You know, unloaded on two, and then just kind of had the maturity to just throw up a little bit of lob. Start it again. I think that's what I see with Majerus and Kira. They build points over and over and over. And they'll you know, be looking for something, and if it gets defended, they'll start again start happily. Again. Build the point, and it's going in a certain direction. Whether they get the right look or not, or not. they'll pull the trigger. Yes. I would like to see Roxy and Ike taking some more overheads Love there. Love 30. Okay. Moscow is looking for the deep lob and blitz. what they have to do more. <laughs> well, you know, Roxy kind of started that sequence of events there with her overhead, and that's what I'm kind of thinking it's might be a, the subtle change they need right now, just a, a different look, right, to change. sometimes gets caught because she wants to just crush that ball with a forehand volley. But when the ball's right at your body, it is a little easier to defend it with a backhand. That's a good first volley. Yeah, so you can see with Anika when she goes back, her grip's way over. It's like she's going to crush a forehand off the deck. Yes. There it went a little bit more neutral. 
I would love to have a little, a little slice in there. Clawing their way back into this game, bring it to Deuce. That's what I used to do all day long, is oh, just wait for that one. I missed the opportunity, but they capitalized on the point. That was actually a very well played point. So this would be a great hold for Anika if she can convert here. Down level 40. So, such solid volleys this game for her. Yeah, big time serve right up the tape. And that's a great, great, all the way great, over, great, Anthony, great, to start great. that. Yeah. Great hold. Some good, good momentum. Some good, some good mojo there. Fusion, a proud partner to the APTA. Fusion curates what's next in branded gear and apparel for your company, your team, or your event. With a team of dedicated industry experts, Fusion curates high-end product selections for customization with your club logo, team name, or corporate identity. We create a stress-free shopping experience with custom online stores and quick custom ordering to get the gear you need now without any hassle. Visit gearbyfusion.com and let Fusion provide you with gear to fuel your brand. Anthony with Madeiras and Kira reaching the final here and <laughs> looking in really good shape. It's going to impact uh, big time national rankings going into you know, Chicago, we've got the Philly uh, tour stop at the end of this month. But, you know, Delmonico Gebbia went out here in the quarters. Morgan Sikora went out in the quarters. Um, I, I think there's going to be some leapfrogging from Kiro Madeira's currently ranked number six in the national they're rankings. They're six right now, right? So yeah, I think they're going to get into that top, top four. four. Yeah. Rightfully so. Been a great season. And I really think they're proving <laughs> that they belong there. She was in good position, just really good she return was. of serve. Roxy's been hitting at a little bit more pace in this set than she did in the first set. It's working. Yeah, it was that heavier ball. Heavier. You can't quite appreciate on the stream, but when you're courtside, if you hear it, yes, you can appreciate it. Yeah, we can even hear it here. That's just the way that it's a little more smack to the ball. But when you hit it a little flatter, it tends to be heavier. because they have, they're actually setting up the points. It's a little bit more uh, systematic, right? Lob, blah, 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 drive, blah, instead of uh, taking the ball as it comes. Yeah, and when they see an open spot, they're not, you know, overjuicing the shot. They're making sure they make the shot because they've got to just, uh, just put more balls in play to pull out a win here today. Roxy's forehand spot on. I think that helped win that game. 4-2, Anika Nicolescu in the second set. Kiro Medeiros. Just when you think that 
when they were down 5-0 first set in Nico Nicolescu, and we had the conversation. I said, you've got to you've got to dig in as deep as you can right there. We're in the finals of a huge tournament, you know, and it sends a message that you're you're going to fight and your opponents need to see that in you. <laughs> and, you know, big turnaround here. I wouldn't call this breathing room yet, but <laughs> it's as close as they, this is the first time they've actually had some comfortable. Rocket return from Lynn Kira out of the deuce quarter on the far side. It's Macy Medeiros hitting the overhead there in the lighter top. Gabby Nicolescu's in the deuce court on the baseline here, and that's Roxy and Nico in the ad court. I still like it. I still oh, like girl, it. I don't love that right there. I don't like the miss into the net, but I do like Roxy setting up on that side. Well, I just think Anika has to stay in the moment. They've been building points here. They're kind of chipping away, and they can't give away anything, anything stupid, really. And that, that just was a poor choice right there. And this is this is where you show your moxie, right? You give away one, that always happens. Mm -hmm. Will she give away? Will either of them give away another one this game? And I just think you can't give away points and beat Kira Medeiros. You're going to have to play phenomenally well yourself. No gifts. Or very few gifts. And that was a gift right there for Medeiros, actually. Oh, my God, Annette! I mean, she, <laughs> she went for it. Uh -oh. Did Nicolescu just get a cramp? No, Madeira, oh. Madeira's hit the ball oh. back. <laughs> she, uh, she shouldn't have, but she hit it uh, into the back of Nicolescu after a missed volley. <laughs> Gabby's playing it up a little. Oh, oh there we go. Touche. Wonderful touch. That's a huge <laughs> point, actually. That was gigantic. We're laughing about it, but 30-15 at 4-2. Confirms the call, 30 all. He's got a good umpire voice. He does, very commanding. Her arm hurt before. Yeah, she she <laughs> walked. Really she hurt. said she just walked that one off. It looks. Mm. Is that an elbow? Does she have an elbow issue? A little bit, I think. It was a bold move off a slow to, serve. Just trying to see what actually happened there. Actually, I like this where she's taking plenty of time to kind of get it together. Sure. I'm sure she was walking off her arm. It looks like maybe she tweaked. Mm. Yeah, she's her looking side. at her stomach, her side. Yeah. yeah, maybe she just tweaked a muscle, pulled something. I don't she know did move. She moved a little awkwardly. On the play, where Nikolescu served the ball, because Aniga just took off like she right. was really going to be comfortable with, you know, a spot for the Kira return. It's not the case. When the pitcher is supposed to throw a fastball and then throws a curve by mistake, exactly. throws off the catcher. Anticlimactic close for that game for Nicolescu and Nika. But again, here you are, Nicolescu. She doesn't serve the ball very hard, nor does she get a ton of depth on it. And then you see Madeira's, you know, ready to unload. But all of a sudden, you see a six-foot, 
woman <laughs> walking into your visual, right. you know, your vision, and you're you're looking and trying to concentrate, looking at the ball, and all of a sudden, Linkira moves yeah. into your yeah. your sight line, and it and it just more, forced, more pressure. yeah, right. Nikolescu just. Okay, the middle's not available. As you can see, yeah, she was uh, clearly thinking about spotting that perfectly, and that's, 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 that's when it's dangerous. That's why it's good to throw different formations, just little moves, and they do it as much as anybody, from what I can see on the women's side, where they'll show the move and then just back off the move. Medeiros to serve with a new ball. Still a very good swing. Take that. Yeah, yeah. But with Kiro showing, you know, the eye formation, I might have taken that up the line. Really? Yeah, because I don't know if she was moving or not. It's the first point, and this is a critical moment in this match. And you lost first set, so I don't think you can miss the returns. Yeah. see if Kira would back up, and she actually did one of the few times Kira was backed up there. Gabby went for it all there. Yeah, a little too big right there. A little too big and wide, you know. A little too wide. Stay in the middle. Clearly. Stay in the middle Yeah, there. stay in the middle Just or like take it down saying. the line. Just mix it up. Do, do something. Make them hit a volley. Three return of serves and a, and a lob that should have been returned. It was difficult, but it should have been returned. They, they had a little mental letdown that game. Let's see if they can come right back. looking for something to happen there. Really good, nicely played. And I think they opened up the courts. The play started over in the deuce court, and then Roxy picked the perfect pace to hit that shot. She didn't over-juice the volley. Yeah, that, that tends to be the problem there. Oh, trying to hit that one a little too hard, but she kept the pace perfect. Right on top of the net, a wall of backhands. Absolutely. I mean, and that's actually the play. The play is to force someone to drive that ball right at you standing at the net. And Johan would do that to his opponents all day long. So if that's what you're going to do, you got to stick your nose in there. Yeah, it's a one-two combination, and they forgot. They forgot the two. Yeah. Like I said, it's not a bad. It's not a bad shot. Folly because she saw Kiro again making that move. But, you know, really good return. 
return a serve from Medeiros. Game zero, Medeiros. They lead five games to four, second set. Just when we saw Kieran some momentum Medeiros. at four two, we have seen three consecutive games from Kieran Medeiros. What happened? Yeah, Is that it, four three it, game was yeah. the killer for Nika Nikolescu. Is it was it confidence? Was it just Yeah, that was when they missed three returns. Yeah. And a screen. Nothing's changing with Kiro and Medeiros there. Just seem really poised, really disciplined here. Sir, so look deep, and it was. Yes, body language has not changed. They both, and we heard that yesterday as well. Medeiros is, you can't tell if she's up, if she's down. She's in, she keeps her emotions in check, and uh, Lynn Kiro's doing the same thing. went for it with the slice drop shot did not clear the net 15 all big return here for Anika love it she got it second time in this game that uh, she's, she's gotten uh, an error out of Medeiros on the volley just when I said Medeiros never misses volleys two Kira reaches way up for that overhead, Anthony. Much higher contact point than most, most women players. Right. And not just because of her height. What do you think? Third time's a charm. Uh, <laughs> right Roxy, at Medeiros again? Roxy Anika's going to hit it. She's going to hit it. Same spot. Okay, change in formation. Medeiros oh. going high. Just enough. Steps up on match point. This is a completely confident forehand right into the corner and back a deuce. Great shot. One match point saved. has not been shy. She takes some good swings. Loose overhead. 
Match point number two. Was called the match. We still have another point or two to play. Well, he's a psychic. <laughs> oh, and the serve's deep. He jinxed Lynn Kiro on that serve. Mark's got to shake it off. He does. It's a key point in the match. He's got to keep his discipline, composure. Some indecision. I know. I'm not sure why Nick Gabby didn't uh, approach that ball, and it, it made Roxy Anika think she wasn't going to be there, so she stepped in front. Oh, Roxy! I think <laughs> he wanted it. Away yet. You are lucky that they survived <laughs> that other screw up. You know, it's, it's late in this match, but I will say, you know, when we're talking about Lynn Kiro's serve, it reminds me, frankly, of uh, uh, Palmer. Roderick, uh, Jared, Jared Palmer, Palmer serve right doesn't he? Like he's, I know he has more of the best men serves, but it's kind of that long swing, yeah, right? Long yeah, but it's very effective, and I think he had statistically had one of the best serves in the men's game. Yeah, he's a percentage cold right, at percent the time, right. I think. The second to rise. And there we go, we have a break point now. After two match points, a break point for Anika and Nicolescu. stats on that remember yes anything? yes i liked him better when he was a statistician <laughs> <laughs> not beating everyone up <laughs> Way to bounce back from a really, really poor game with the three mix, missed drives and missed lob. Uh, they gathered themselves, and here we are at five all after two match points. Just enough uncertainty that Medeiros volleyed long. She just wasn't completely comfortable in that volley. Wasn't sure what was going on in the court. Anik is at the net. That's such a great shot. She caught her backing up. She had the advantage right there. She did. She took advantage. That's a really smart point. I love staying back. Hey, for it's, these, it's, for it's played out twice that both of them, both Linkiro and Medeiros on the previous point, just a little uncertainty. That's all it is. Just a different look. Well, I just think the pace of Nicolescu's serve just doesn't do much against, you know, the drives that Kira and Medeiros can rip. And staying back just eliminates targets. And first barriers. 
Well, I will say in that game, it looked like Nicolescu and Anika were in the heads of Kiro and Madeiras for the first time all match. Like, I felt like they were thinking of what they should be doing, and it's the first time I've seen that all match. What do we do? And it's felt the other way around the whole tournament, uh, the whole match so far. 5 0. I thought this was going to be a straight set, no brainer win for Kiro and Madeiras, and just kudos to to Anika and Nicolescu just clawing their way back. They and clawed back. That they was the played question mark that we yeah. had. Yeah. And they, they've not been in this position that many times as a team. Well, Kiro and Medeiros are smiling, getting ready for this next game. So you said body language hasn't changed much. They're ready to go. Let's see if they can bounce back. <laughs> Such a, it's a great move. Roxy just missed it. Shot. Yeah, the, the ball just ended up being a little behind A little behind her. her. The shot's harder than it looks. I mean, obviously it's makeable, but yeah. very makeable. Kind of running through that ball. one of the ones we've been talking about all day that Roxy steps in she sees what's happening and cuts off that volley and she's been going very effectively back into that corner Started down the deuce court, created a lot of havoc, ended up on the ad court. I think she hesitated in her head because she felt like she just took Nicolescu's ball on the previous one and then just clicked a little bit. Well, I just think that's where she needs a little bit more discipline. She took her shot on the prior drive right. and it was, you know, beautifully defended. Come on, come on, come on. And then, you know, no, it's not a bad play. Throw up a lob right there and then get another low for yourself right. where you just have your feet under you, a little better balance shot. So we had the score wrong just a little bit. That volley was long, so that was 40 love. And now we're into a tiebreaker. Yeah, the Anika volley when she it, closed. It did go long, just right, missed. right. I thought it did, but this the scoreboard. Uh, All right, a tiebreaker. All right, who has the edge in the tiebreaker? I'll tell you after this point. Uh, after the first point? OK. <laughs> well, Madeira's Kiro pulled out a great tiebreaker against Sanders the Boy last yes, night. Yes, that just completely controlled that tiebreaker yesterday. Good first point. I'm not sure I saw who hit that last one, but it was right in the corner. I think it was Nicholas Scoop. Macy Medeiros wasn't able to catch up to it, so it's a good start. When Anika and Nicolescu are good, they're really good. And you're you're seeing them put a lot of <laughs> great battle together here in the second set. Great cover by Nicolescu. She didn't blink. It's tough to stay on top of that ball. Oh, Roxy. See, I, I said, oh boy, because I could feel that Roxy had the need to hit that shot in this moment. And I don't feel the need to have no. hit that shot in that moment. Such a hard shot to execute at this point. Tuesday night at 8.30 shots. Yes. <laughs> I think there's tiebreakers in the final. The Short Hills Invitational shots. But that's 
that's what makes Anika the special player she is because she's core resistant, I would say, with her shots. Right, right, right. Go! on that recovery from that point. They are dialed in. Yeah, this is going to be, this is a critical point right here this on the side This is a breaker. huge point. Yeah, good time to exhale if you're Nikolescu. And he I will stay back. I, I agree. It's the right thing. It's the only thing. It's worked two out of the three times they've tried it, so let's see what happens there. Well, it just guarantees that they get into the point. Got it? Breaker, first to seven points by two, change every five points. Kira Medeiros lead 3 2. Cheerlin for each of the teams here. Love the support. I'll tell you, Gabby missed a few wide, but she's not going away from that shot, and it pays off there. Great return. The advantage of going for the corner or going for the side is that you can hit the corner. She did right there. serve the Nicolescu's but it's not hit that much harder and yeah. Kira loves it. Medeiros goes long on that one 5-4. Kind 
was surprised when Juris took that rip. I think she's shaking her head a little bit. She'd love that shot back. It was there. That's the right shot. I just don't think she needed to juice it that much right yeah. there in this situation. It's a little harder to hit in there. Yeah, and put the pressure on a volley. Right. Dearest is at the net. Nikolaski just dropped it in there to bring it to five all. Big point. Dearest needs to slow down right here. She's yeah. a little bit off her, yes. her usual just tempo a, right just now. Just a little bit. same side so that Nicholas can just slide over and be into her at the time. Wow, another Madeira's flinched. Loose. She flinched. Stay Six back. All. Stay back. Stay back. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. no. Uh, they like this look better mm. on this on, on Madeira's side, but Was give her credit on that. She volleyed very comfortably there. With Kira right in her face. Here we go. This is what Madeira's does. It yep. anyone. I would She's building the point. A couple of beautiful lobs already in the point. Or do you play her less right now? So it's a spot decision, but I feel like I don't want to play her right now either. Oh, she's missed a few. But I have so much regard for how she manages herself in yes, these matches that you know she can shake off a couple of bad shots. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. It's, I don't, still don't feel comfortable hitting it over there. Great get by Nicolescu. Match point number two. Match point number two. I don't know. I like that swing. I think it's the right shot. I don't. I know. I knew you were going to say that, actually. I'm so bored. <laughs> no, I, I just think you got to play the score. And yeah. I, think, I think you drive, but you don't have to go as big. Just 
the score sometimes should force you to think about taking something off the drive, in my opinion. You're not wrong. Playing the score, you have to play the score, but at the same time, you have to have confidence in your shots. You got it. Here we go. Here we go. Sure, but you know, Nicolescu just loaded up and put every single thing, every ounce of energy she could she muster did. at this point into that shot. How do you feel about that shot? I feel like all is fair. Yes. Well, it's not like Medeiros doesn't have that same shot and exactly. use it as well. Exactly. <laughs> right? so it's just who gets it, to hit it, it first. It, it giveth and it taketh away. Glad no one's hurt, though, of course. Yep, and I, I think it's a great shot right into the body because you just don't have time to get out of the way. If it goes to your left or your right, right. you have time to use the screen, slow down, play, get a little bit of control of the shot. Nowhere to go. Seven all, second set tiebreaker. The Short Hills Invitational, 2012. of Patty Hogan along with Anthony Cosimano. And Anika and Nicolescu have fought off two match points in this tiebreaker and two match points earlier in the set. First set point opportunity for Anika and Nicolescu. Eight, seven, Anika Nicolescu. First time through. I think so. I think so. I think so. All right, what's the play? Do they stay back? Don't love this right here. No, it's not. It. Kiro is going to rip this, isn't she? And I like that Nicolescu is looking to cut the ball off, but I don't think she could do it off that serve. I think Kiro is just dialed in and was going to rip that ball. Really tough ball to make a move on. And she had to flip her paddle all the way over to the forehand side. She started way over in the backhand position, so big move. Medeiros just buried that one in the middle of the net. I think she may have thought it was going to be a fault. It looked very like it just barely cleared the net and went short, super short. Yeah, right here, you know, Kira is definitely feeling a little bit more comfortable, and Medeiros is yeah, looking a little, uncomfortable. A little less comfortable, right? All right, set point number two for Anika Nicolescu. I was wrong on first time through, but second time through, <laughs> I'm going to call it again. Okay. I'm going to say yes. And if that's the case, I have to reach for my Remedy Plus bar. There you go. <laughs> Everybody's going to reach for them. If <laughs> this goes three, that's what they need, the Remedy Plus bar. That took a lot of discipline to lay off that one for Nicolescu. It, it was the right choice. Live to fight another day. I would keep attacking uh, Madeira right I, here. I think so. I think so. Right now, just just from what the feel of this. That's the one that Brian's going to step in and buy that ball. Great play, good recovery. Oh my Fantastic lord, that was recovery. awesome. <laughs> oh, look at this. Point. <laughs> the highlight this is reel the of best, the tournament best right point here. of the match. Couldn't come at a better time. Oh, oh my Kira, god. Kira was three, the three steps ahead of that ball. She's running up to the net made it over the other side of the net. Love 
about the level of play here. Yeah, that's <laughs> fantastic. Really stepped up. Got it. Oh, yeah! And there we go. 10-8 in the tiebreaker. Anika Nicolescu win the second set. Yeah, Anthony, just outstanding play. We're going to take a break here. We'll be right back in just a moment after these messages right here on the APTA YouTube channel presented by My Paddle. Welcome to CI Private Wealth. Here, you'll find a profoundly different wealth management experience. With the strength of our parent, CI Financial, we've built a diverse, world-class wealth management firm at a size and scale like no other. That means no matter how complex, extreme, or niche your wealth goals may be, you'll be matched with an advisor who can help navigate all of life's many challenges, whether personal or professional, so you can stay focused on the journey. Our advisors are the reason why our strategies are so unique, why our services are so personal, and why your wealth management experience can be so profoundly different. Get started today. High performance never tasted Woo! this good. Chocolate, berries, cinnamon, agave. Fuel your body with the shot and the bar. Now available in a deliciously energizing power pack. See how much farther you can go with Remedy Plus. Hi, this is Roxy Enica, and this is my serve and first volley. The goal of the first volley is to keep that ball deep inside the court. We're not looking to win it, we're not looking to pull the ball away. You're looking to get yourself in the point with your partner. Matches in general, what I'm seeing happening a lot is people tend to just serve and run in as fast as they can to the net. This is not the goal that you should have for your first volley. As you're crossing the service line, start slowing down and make that volley. After that, you can continue moving forward and playing the point at the net with your partner. You wanna be using the continental grip or like I like to teach members, is that you want to look to have a hammer in your hand. Make sure that the paddle stays compact, close to your body, and a little bit open with a 45 degree angle. You don't want to be squeezing too hard. In fact, you're looking to absorb the pace of that first drive. Don't look to punch at it and add more pace to it because a lot of times you're going to miss it long. You want to loosen the grip on your hand a little bit and bring the paddle closer to your body. Absorb that pace on your first drive and keep that ball in play ideally deep. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and I'm looking forward to seeing all of you around the course soon. What is a cutter? Ball with a lot of spin. A cutter is a fun shot. A cutter is an offensive overhead commonly used close to the net. A spin shot where you get underneath the ball. Side of the ball, bottom of the ball, the other side of the ball. Carving around it in different ways. You just have, a, have to have a loose wrist. And you basically try to make the ball spin backwards or sideways. It either spins short or deep and causes confusion for the baseline team. Hi, this is Roxy Enica, and this is my serve and first volley. The goal of the first volley is to keep that ball deep inside the court. We're not looking to win it. We're not looking to pull the ball away. You're looking to get yourself in the point with your partner. Matches in general, what I'm seeing happening a lot is people tend to just serve and run in as fast as they can to the net. This is not the goal that you should have for your first volley. As you're crossing the service line, start slowing down and make that volley. After that, you can continue moving forward 
and playing the point at the net with your partner. You want to be using the continent to grab, or like I like to teach members, is that you want to look to have a hammer in your hand. Make sure that the paddle stays compact, close to your body, and a little bit open with a 45 degree angle. You don't want to be squeezing too hard. In fact, you're looking to absorb the pace of that first drive. Don't look to punch at it and add more pace to it because a lot of times you're going to miss it long. You want to loosen the grip on your hand a little bit and bring the paddle closer to your body. Absorb that pace on your first drive and keep that ball in play, ideally deep. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I'm looking forward to seeing all of you around the course soon. Welcome back to the APTA Tour, presented by Remedy Plus. We are in the spectacular finals of the women's event here, the Short Hills Invitational, where we split sets. Uh, Kira, Kira Madeiras just dominated play 6-1, and then huge adjustments and spectacular play with a, from Anika Nicolescu. Uh, let them pull away in that tiebreaker in the second set, and um, Patty Hogan, along with Anthony Casamano, calling the action and we're just watching the action and how fun is this Anthony? It's exciting. I just ran into Mark Fischel downstairs and we were just commenting on, on it just how exciting this is to watch and I'm not taking anything away from the men's match but it's just we, we were comparing it and this is really fun to watch. Really truly fun and it's going to be a classic match. Yeah and it's just action packed. There's tr the transition game and the willingness of all four players just to go for their shots. There's, you know, no hesitation. They're all pulling the trigger, going for it. They get the opportunity, boom, no one's lacking for power. Really fun to watch. Good dynamic, and uh, I mean, I, I will say, I, I will admit that more than once I thought it was going to be a two-set match. You weren't the only announcer who thought that. And uh, it's really a testament to, to Anika and Nicolescu. Coming back after, you know, after playing a couple of shaky games and shaky points to show that moxie, it's fantastic. So, and here we are. And Madeiras is pressing in that type, you know, toward the end of that second set. Yes. She started pressing a little bit. Felt the dynamic change just a little bit. It didn't look quite as comfortable in their decision making. see any change of strategy. From Kira Madeiras? Yeah. Um, well, right here, you know, Kira's feeling it, Madeiras is not. Oh, yeah. Holy cow, <laughs> and Anika clearly is right now. Um, you know, where Kira got to look out of that ad court and just crush that forehand. Um, and that's an unbelievable response from Anika right there. That sets the tone early. It really does. She's, she's not going to dial it back. She's been ripping the ball all day, Anika, and she's missed a few, but she's, she's basically saying, I'm going to keep hitting it. You better be ready. And there it is again. She goes, she goes down the line. It's a great shot. She's, that's about the fourth uh, error that she's forced fourth. Darius to make on her return of serve. So I love that return of serve from Anika just straight ahead. Team of Hero and uh, Madeira are the ones right now who might have to think about a tactical adjustment. Yes. I, w I won't say how quickly a match can change because that did not happen quickly at all, right? It was just a little scratching, climbing, figuring it out. A little touche there. Roxy comes to the net, and Madeira hits a great softball right behind her. Double break point still, especially on Kiro's serve. This would be a great, a great way to start the match with a let court winner from Roxy Aniga, and that's a huge first game. Unless I have this. Nope, yep, sure. you've got yep, it. I'm going. Anthony, you're always right. Are you kidding me? <laughs> 
So we'll see if uh, Nika Nicolescu, you know, if they stay back, just give up the net at the beginning of the point to make sure they get in every point. And I think it's that's the play because it's it's not giving Medeiros any fun blitzing setups. Right, they don't get that free first that point. Return to serve from Kiro, and then the pounce by Medeiros. Winning a point within the three, first three strikes of the ball gives the, uh, you know, especially on the return of serve side of the court, uh, gives you so much comfort and confidence and momentum that yes, taking that away really changes the dynamic. Return to serve from a You could see a little fist pump there. She needed that. Tony's on the live chat enjoying the action. He thinks this match is an instant classic, and we totally agree. I did. I think I actually used that word. up in uh, Wilton, Connecticut, and Ron's wondering that, he's like, what do you think? Is it is it time for Macy to uh, put Lynn on top of the net and just let Macy hit a ton of overheads and see if they can't start dictating play a little bit more from the net? Yeah, it looked out. It was out. That's an interesting observation, Ron. Mostly right, I find. Shout out to Dave Chelson. Enjoying, uh, I hope it's his first and only cigar of the day. <laughs> okay, the cheers, men's uh, final. Kicking off. With host pro Chris Humphreys in the finals. Humphreys versus Koning up against. Durant and Mitchell. And Johan's waving his arms, going, trying to get some crowd support. He's not going to find a lot here today. Oh, man, come on! Oh, and that's the first. Uh, now they're pumped. Medeiros is showing that's the, that's the loudest exclamation of the match for her. This is exactly what they need right now. They need a little energy, a little emotion. They need some momentum into this yeah. next game. One fifteen all. So mindset again, right here, pure Madeiras. Roxy is still in the he is relentless on that return of serve. But the match is literally everything's even right now. Madeiras has to shake off that end of that second set. Yes, and it's very easy for us to say that up here, but you're absolutely right. Very short memory. Hmm. One point at the longest. Yep. Phenomenal play from right there. Good combination of shots from Anika. Advancing herself closer to the closer net, getting in with each volley. That's huge for her. She spotted her drives all over that court. She's kind of gone down the line. She's kind of up the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Little dig from Nicolescu. Tough overhead from Kira. Just stayed along that side screen. And Nicolescu just waited with her paddle face, nice. open and low for that ball to drop. Smart throw by Nika. She backed off of that ball, allowing Nicolescu to come in. And win that one. That's it. They're playing just the tenor of the match has, has changed a lot more confidence. We knew Anika and Nicolescu wouldn't go away, but they're feeling it right now. So Nika and Nicolescu have been number two all season, runner-ups in last year's national championship to Zaborian and Hanish. The whole year, those two teams have separated them from the field with the emergence here of Kira Medeiros. Clearly, there's going to be a little bit another team in that cluster, you know, who you could uh, see some odds on to uh, have a great shot to win national title. It's, it's just fun. This match is explosive at every turn. Like, no one, 
there's no uh, no one's trying to slow anything down. Everybody's just you know hitting their shots. And Nico Nicolescu look phenomenal right now. You know they've got the momentum. They've only made that one real small change with Nika staying back on the on the serve. Staying back on Gabby's serve. On Gabby's serve. Yeah, I think it's that's huge. Though. It's a, such a small. I mean, it's only one look. I'd like to see her stay back on both, but clearly that's not what they want to do. More of a problem if they don't stay back, you know, against Kiro on that deuce yes. court return of serve yes. with the threat of Medeiros making that right. move. Right. Clearly, that's what they've said. They've said we're. Just a little bit more dangerous. And again, no decision. You just stay back, getting the point. Both players on the same side of the court again, so that Nicolescu can just slide right over to the left side of the court. Little indecision there. Drive, drive, lob. Again, Kiro's volley there, deep and low. Really made it a tough ball for Nicolescu to defend, clearly. Wow, it looked like that thing was going wide. I wasn't sure. Pace drive from Macy Medeiros. Caught them off the net just a little. Again, you know, Anika was headed up to the net and then re recalled their current strategy that's working yes. is having them both stay back. One shot is evidence, then yes. We'll see if it continues. Anthony, so many people are loving the action. Lori P out of Canubra, Cal Keating out of Ticonderoga, David Chelson up in uh, Maine, Dave Arthur down in Richmond, Virginia. This is a great way to start the Sunday morning of Super Bowl Sunday. You mean Super Paddle Sunday Super right paddle here Sunday. at the Short Hills Club? Couldn't ask for better conditions. I know paddle players play in all weather, but we love when it's overcast and with just a little bit warm, maybe not too much. No rain, no snow. No shadows. Yeah, spectacular management of the weather by tournament director yes. Brian Skinner. Fight. I think we're just, I, I really feel like there's not going to be a clear momentum switch. I think we're just going to be fighting back and forth for points here. Let's get a third set tiebreaker, Anthony. I think so. We're headed that way. After that second set, I think that's really the only way this match can end.
let's Such good patience in that point, and Roxy waits for it and takes an inside out forehand down the line for the winner. 30 love. She's picking her spots so well. Anthony, I gotta give a shout out to Will Nunziata. He and his brother Anthony played junior nationals. 20 years ago, enjoying the action here. Great. Love listening to your to your commentating. Thanks for checking in. And I don't know. We have over a thousand people on the stream. Listening. Well, when you have twins like the Nunziatas, it's, it's it comes in handy. We get two for one for sure. 2001, 2002 national champs, brothers. Congratulations. Love 40. Relentless offense from Nicolescu and Anika. I would have loved one more. Just one more. One more in the middle of yes. the court. <coughs> Don't go wide I'm yet. I'm with you there, but Roxy's feeling it for sure. They're hitting so well. But again, you have to capitalize. You have three break points. You've got to convert. I agree. I'd be amazed. The ball was wide. 3 2 Anika and Nicolescu. Anthony, you know, if there's ever a time for a Remedy Plus bar, this is it. You're out here. These guys are heading into, uh, you know, a couple hours of play, following up a grueling day yesterday here on the courts. And, yes. you know, there's you, you got to have the go-to snack. you got to have that drink that just can propel you to victory if they in don't, the third if set. If they don't need it, I need it. So. <laughs> we need it as announcers. We need it. Okay, so this is the soul searching part of it, right? When you have someone like Kiro and Medeiros, they certainly had plenty of success, but have they won a Grand Prix tournament yet? They have not. They have not. So does that creep into someone's mind when you're getting close? Yeah, they've not won a tour event together. If they were to pull this out, they would be the it's fifth huge. team to pull out a women's tour event this year, which says a lot about the depth in the women's game. Nicolescu and uh, Anika pull it out, it will be their second win. Uh, they started the season, huge, huge win at Montclair. Uh, came here in Short Hill, is really looking to win this event and, you know, vault themselves into a real positive uh, position for Nationals. Deep, 15 all. <laughs> Anika and Nicolescu carefully considering every point to make sure they don't get crossed up. in a bad transition there, so they were both very cautious on waiting to see where the ball was going. Great lob, that lob forced that. Roxy was switching sides really well. 
placed. Yeah, and the height of that lock. The height is, was great. It was four steps back from the service line. There's really very little place to go. Right, and Anika's, you know, the more time that she has to think about it, she's like, all right, which overhead do I pull out? Overhead number one, two, three, four, or five? And uh, kind of made a late decision there. Right. The more time you have to think about it, the more chance you have of making a mistake, second guessing yourself. Teach that shot, it's always don't take your eye off the ball because it's hard to catch up to it. I don't think she had to, I think she could have stepped back and watched it the whole way. She could maybe even have gotten some offense off of it. Okay, good mature move right there for Nikolaski and Nika just to be on the same page where they're going, who's gonna move. So far for that, she hit it fantastically, but left way too much court open, and Roxy and he got put it in a perfect, a perfect volley. Took all the pace off that ball. And Kira, you just see she wanted the ball, oh, yeah. and you just didn't get a sense of Madeira's wanted that she, ball. You're right, and that's why I said, Kira, you can see in the previous strikes that she was trying to put herself in a position to drive it. She overcommitted there, maybe thinking that Madeira's wasn't being aggressive enough or looking for enough, so maybe she's trying to take over. <laughs> Phenomenal volley. Two, two, those could be two match winning volleys in a row right there. Fantastic match, fantastic points, two in a row. And I love how Nikolescu just held her ground. She didn't, there was no more movement and if the ball came at her, all she was thinking about was that one spot. She didn't flinch. Yeah, she, she read the Kiro drive beautifully. That's really hard to do in paddle is not to Overextend yourself. That ball's outside of that one, two foot box. You let it let it go. Don't stretch. Don't reach. Especially in those moments. Great pickup from Madaris there. Great get. Chaos will favor Anika Nicolescu. And Nicolescu just hit the perfect, perfect play spot. shot. Kira and Medeiros, I thought they had lined themselves up to cover everything but that one spot. Nicolescu found it. She did. And just the level of play. Nico, Anika and Nicolescu are still Step on the rise they're here. They're still on the rise. They're step, stepping up more, yeah. and more and more. They're adding a few more looks to their game. And I just feel like they're making 80% of their drives here today. 90% yesterday in the yes. semifinals. You know, they, they didn't put together. They really struggled to get past the incredible play of Shane Sutter last night. And they're a different team here. Much more poised. There is always something to be said for having been there before, right? So they're they're not thinking about winning their first Grand Prix. They're, they're just dialed in in the moment. And they came here, like I said, they consider themselves legitimate. There you go. This was going to be the first step to come here for the win. What a draw. They had Hannah Sabori. They got through them that semifinal match, which was phenomenal last night. You know, have themselves in a great position. 15 all, 4 2. We're at the Short Hills Invitational. 
women's final round action. I'm Patty Hogan with Anthony Casamano with the best seats in the house. By far, the crowd has not diminished whatsoever. Plenty of people inside, outside, around the courts, around the fire pits. Oh yeah, we got the New Canaan Field Club. You can hear them out there showing their support for their director, Roxy Anika. And, and Gabby are just playing those lobs all over the court. They're completely comfortable hitting offensive lobs. Yeah, but I just, I, I think it goes to driving in this match as the difference, their consistency, and they're just getting these dipping balls like right there. I mean, Madera's got as low as she could go, and she just couldn't keep her paddle above the level of the net and have the volley air. So I think they want to give Kiro a few more looks. That's not a bad choice. She will have. She will see more looks on that side. right there. Medeiros was uncertain. You could see, like, I think she thought Nicolescu was going through the middle and she was going to go, she's getting ready to chase that thing that's off the back screen that's already. That's exactly and then what it looked like. She was definitely leaning left, came back right. That's what, that's what you said, essentially. They've just been driving so well. They're spotting their drives, They're making everything happen. That's a huge game there. Up 5-2. And we have update on the men's final, Durant Mitchell with Durant up 3-2, leading Humphreys and Osis Koenig. At 5-2, momentum is clearly, even though I said it was going to be clawing and fighting for every single point, I do feel like the momentum is clearly in Anika and Nicholas's favor. They've been really relentless with the drives. Kiru and Medeiros really haven't had an answer yet in this last set. Yeah, and Medeiros kind of has disappeared a little bit. She just yeah. lost her confidence here. Yes, a little less present. And so, but she's a great player, she's a champion, a national champion. Yes. It just takes one moment and it can turn again. Maybe it's gonna take two moments. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's in her head a little bit right yeah, now. It's hard, not, it's hard not to be, you know, as I said, as you, just the mental uh, focus for a match of this intensity is it's tough to keep up then he can lay it off that overhead a little bit Kira thought the ball was going to be hit harder that was Medeiros actually Medeiros, sorry yeah no I bet. correction 
Good catch. So, sorry, but yeah, but it's, that's what's been, you know, it's kind of in her head a little bit too. Yep, again, Mika Nicolescu staying back. Mika staying back on the Nicolescu serve. That's proved to be the other difference major, maker here. Yeah, that's a, a tough one to let go. Yeah, if you let it go, and there's no tracking that no ball. No tracking down. it down, so I think you're right. It might have been wide, but letting that ball go could actually turn the set again if you right. If you... First hiccup we've seen in a while, really. Nicolescu knows she's not supposed to miss, Anthony? <laughs> well, I think uh, over the last four games, I don't think they have missed. I really don't. I'm, I can't remember an unforced error in the last four games. So they're dialed in. We'll give them one, and we'll see what happens. Deep ball right on the line. Yeah. Right here, we need Nicolescu and Anika. Stick with this. Don't be over. Over eager to end this. That's right. Don't get ahead of yourself. I'm loving Anika's play in particular here. She's playing every point. I, she's playing within herself and really making a ton of good choices as this match has gone on and on, deeper, deeper. She has. I'm loving her decision making. We saw anything at the in the middle of the second set or in the first was was just that that she had, wasn't making the best choices and she dialed in and out a little bit, but that's gone away. You're absolutely right. So this is a great strategy by Nicolescu and, and Inika. They're just just wait it out. Wait it out. The pressure's on Medeiros and Kiro right now. Let them think about every single ball they're hitting. Switching sides. Nicolescu, their drives are feeding off each other, giving each other so many looks. Those drives, they're great. They just wear away at your opponent, right? It makes you, forces you to come back to the net and think about that volley and think about the next drive coming. Hands over the net. Yeah, she's feeling it. Kira's feeling yeah, it. Yeah, Kira's feeling it too. Kira wants the ball. She wants it so bad. It's on the line. Possibly the longest point of the match. Standing up in the stands. Standing clapping. ovation from Sven Berg. Yes, that's a I saw him as well, right? When you're six foot two, he's the first yeah. guy that popped up. That's a great point. Phenomenal all around, point. all yeah. around. Everyone played a perfect point there. All right, 30 all. Nikolescu serving up 5-2, third set. Looking at another Lynn Kiro. 
crushing return to sure, serve, I'm sure. Well, but right, you, j you take away that crushing forehand. It's, now she just gets it back in. We have a match point. 40, 30. Yeah, just a little bit of an off-speed drive there. So they've hit the spectrum from the 50% pace to the 100% pace and everything in between. You, you really underestimate how effective that is to change that pace. Creates, you, know, you get a little ahead of yourself yeah. or you think the ball's coming fast or you think it's coming slower. step back on that volley. That's when I say to myself, when I'm at the net in that moment, I say, get on your tippy toes, because the only good things happen when you're leaning forward. That's right. She stepped back to force yourself to lean forward. Feels like if Kiro Medeiros win this game, that we might be getting to the, getting to a tiebreaker. Let's you just kind of feel that way, even though it's five two. <laughs> Three six, four six volleys from Medeiros. Kiro, stay alive in this point. Just handling those dipping drives. No. Yeah. So much success in the last couple of games spotting that drive. She went for it down the alley, missed it by a few inches. And now we have an advantage, Kira Medeiros. Come on, Macy. And you know, the paddle court's only so big. And there's, I always learn there's certain spots on the net that if you go over the net a little bit to the right of that, your ball's going to be it's, out. It's out. And if you pick that spot in a crucial, crucial moment, you know, that's, that's high risk in my book. It is. Overhead by Roxy, enough to get Kira turned around. She can catch up to it. Back to Deuce. Would you ever consider serving, faking staying back and coming up on this ball? Because Kira is going to hit it half pace. I would not against Kira. I would against some other players. Okay. I feel like she's got that sense. She's got the instinct. She reads the plays. It off is. the paddles right now of Kiro and Madeira's, you know, in a good way for them. For them. They're kind of juiced. Oh, Macy right. in particular. I she feels like she's getting back into it, but unfortunate let cord that skipped out back to Deuce. Oh, go back, Roxy. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't disagree at this point. I think we're going to make Kiro think about it. Might backfire, but guess what Kiro's thinking now? Okay, now I'm gonna have to drive at full pace again. I haven't done it in, in two games. I think percentage-wise, they've won 90% of the points if they stay back. If they stay back. But I do know you're in favor of changing looks also, Pat. Yes, I am. <laughs> Great bother there. Great bother. Quiet hands from the knee pad. Just had the ability to man, you know, manipulate her paddle face. She had about two feet of court not, to hit, not much and room. she made it. Yeah, not much room there. She took all the pace off of it. We've got a match point. Match point. Yeah. 
great guts from Hero. Leaning forward the entire time. She was not going to give up that exchange. Had Nicolescu stepping back. Little, little, little. Little steps. Back to Deuce. Great discipline that yeah. she didn't overhit that ball. Yeah, Medeiros made no move to go with the net. They're super happy resisting that. On the other hand, that was not a good choice. She was not in position. Her feet were not underneath her. She lunged at it, hoping for a easy winner. But we have the advantage, Kira Medeiros. And Medeiros, you know, resisted getting kind of suckered, suckered into, into the it. speed of a transition play there. She was real content just to stay right back there, and whereas Anika didn't pass up the opportunity to pull the trigger on that. Staying back on Medeiros. Up a yes, bit. she's taking a few bigger swings on her overhead there, which went away for a long time. And <laughs> so we are at 5-3, and we will see if that game will push them towards a hold. Oh my gosh, the crowd is loving this, Anthony. I what mean, a great match. Really an instant classic, I love that. Strongest server, serving for a hold. Anika Nikolescu need to play a really long discipline long game. game. Yes, absolutely. This has to this has to start and end on Madeira's and Kira's paddle. Right? It has to end on their paddle. Yeah, because you just feel that Madeira's is back. Her movements just yep. seem a little bit more fluid. Yeah. Swinging freely. Roxy has to contain that urge to go a little bit extra. Wow. Not everybody can hit the line from that position. So Second fault we've seen from Kiro this whole match, but not great timing on it. That's where I think Anika and uh, Nicolas are going to have to resist when they get that first look sometimes. If, you know, and particularly Kiro here, who's feeling it as a volley at the net. You might have to throw up a lob when you don't really when want to. When you don't to. really want to. Yeah. And that's one of the hardest things for mm -hmm. Anika to do, is to not drive when she sees a good one. Right, Medeiros is feeling a little more 
comfortable. She hasn't hit that overhead in a while. And what, you know, Mason Majerus did there, you know, she recognized that where Nicolescu was really stuck in the corner. I call it Betty Blocker land, where you're, you're over there. <laughs> leaning, you could see, leaning the wrong right, way, you're leaning stuck. Leaning the wrong so way, and she positioned, you know, she placed her overhead in exactly the place that there's no way Nicolescu had a shot. Yeah, she had a step right to go left, and. Yeah, so here we are, 5-4. Mika Nicolescu, slight lead here in the third set. Final round action, Short Hills Invitational. The 71st and possibly the greatest women's final match ever played. Wow, that's a big statement. Hey, why not? Why not? We've got the mics. We can say whatever sure. we want. I don't disagree. Smart move by Nicolescu not to st stab her paddle out and try to get into that volley. I thought that was trouble. It looked like she wasn't going to make it. Nicolescu yeah. was headed toward that back screen, not toward the net. And you know, when, you, when you go that flat at times, no margin for error, unfortunately. Do you like roller coasters, Anthony? I, I'm on one. <laughs> I was just going to ask about Roxy and Nika's serve in this moment. I was she, feeling the she, roller coaster. She struggled a little bit in, in the past with her, her serve and sometimes in these moments. It's important to bounce back right here. But Nika's serve has actually been quite solid today. She just had to throw that ball up. The momentum is going the wrong way for Anika Nicolescu here. It is. They're up 5-2. Now we're at 5-4. Three break points again. So why not? Let's there get we to are. a tiebreaker. That's what I said at 5-2. If they made it past that game, we're going to a tiebreaker. Let's see if... Let's see if it plays out. We have Macy Medeiros to serve. Uh, ladies, uh, we forgot to switch balls. You want to just keep going with this one? Talking about yes. switching a ball, switching the ball at five ball. I'm not sure we've been holding to the seven game rule here, so I think that's what they're talking about. Is this the right time to switch balls since it's not really a approved moment? So then all four players, I believe, have to agree. I think so. And we have a new ball. ball an advantage to a server? Well, she hit one. She got the feel she of it. Hit one. She's going to do two. Yeah, she'll hit yeah, a couple. She just wants to hit a few just to feel it out. See, I like that. I like hitting it back and forth a little bit. Not just a serve. So that's Madeira serving. They even things up. Five off, third set. Yeah. Macy's in the orange, but there's, and in the all black outfit is Lynn Kiro. Roxy Nika's in the all black on the deuce court far side, and in the light blue top, that's Gabby Nicolescu. I think that's in Macy Medeiros' head that she has a brand new ball in the first volley. Just was a little hot off her paddle. Log 15. Wow. A huge hit by Gabby Nicolescu. 
Oh, yeah, Gabby yeah. just decided before the serve she was going to just oh, yes. crush the ball oh, yeah. and see what she could get out of it. Chatter. I don't know. I don't know. Bounce I don't it. Know. And that was a great play. Rather than go for it and worry that you might be making a run, right. wrong call, you can always play that run that it down off the yes. back screen easy. Much easier to easily. recover from that one. So 40 to love, 40 triple break point. And Gabby goes three quarter speed on that drive. And that ball goes out. She didn't quite have her feet under her to pull the trigger on no. that much pace. 15, <laughs> but she was trying to take advantage. She saw the player really in a defensive position. She had her in the right spot. Kira was kind of flat-footed right in a, a foot inside that baseline, so not a wrong thought. I like this move. You know, you have to make sure your communication is superb in these moments. Just caught the <laughs> line from Anika there. So same thing in my mind here. Uh, Anika and Nikolaska, they can't overhit. They, I don't want to see them overhit anything in this point. No, they don't have to go too crazy on the overheads. Just stay on point. Nothing too hard off the back screen. Nothing too close to the sidelines. Come on. That was a big win for uh, Anika and Nicolescu to come back after being up 5-2 and losing three games in a row. Very solid game at 40-15. Truly a roller coaster match, Anthony. Just up and down and up and down. Each team and each player, each individual player. You could just you could just get a great sense in this match when someone is feeling they've, it. When they've they all had their the moments. Yeah, they've all had their moments. And it is the nature of the beast of paddle tennis. You feel confident sometimes. You don't feel sometimes. In these big moments, it's the person that steps up and executes the right way. That See, I might, I might stay back right here. Yeah. I just don't want Kira to rip it. Great volley. Two, <laughs> two volleys from Nikolaska. Kira's goes for a little too much. A little too much. Yeah, there was room in the middle there. She didn't have to go so big wide. In that moment, Patty, I go by your rules. When you go in the middle, two people have to make a decision about that volley, right? Two That's people. Right. And in that moment, you want a little bit of, is it yours or mine? And it's also obviously safe in the low part of the net. Yeah, but you're right, Anthony. You'd love to create Great that indecision. Great around the post shot from Nicolescu. Oh, and that goes wide. Nicolescu saved that point with an around the post. And we're two points away from the match. Two very well played points by Nicolescu and Anika. But it's a roller coaster and it's going to roll. <laughs> Come on, we need to have another momentum shift. See if Kiro can do it with one big forehand. Wow, just caught the line. Just this caught the line. What a volley. She got away with it. Perfect time for it. Kira was stepping backwards just a little bit, and it wasn't enough for her to catch up. And here we are at triple match point. Triple championship point. Championship point. Great rip from Medeiros.
Yep. Coming out of my mouth. Don't try to win this point. Just don't lose the Extend point. Extend the point. Extend the point. Yeah, because they had, they had no chance to, even if Roxy made the shot, they had no chance to defend the next ball. Right. If, you know, Kira and Majerus were to hit it. So, Nikolescu, championship point. See if they can convert on number stay two. Stay back. I think I just heard her say stay back, yep. question mark. Yep. And, yep. Good, good call. Why not, Anthony? I, that's a good call. Oh. And that's the match. Anthony, just extraordinary play Fantastic by all match. four women out here. Really, the match of the year for me that I've seen in the women's game. Anthony, it was a pleasure calling this match for you. I'm going to let you thing, take Patty. it from here. Great. I'm going to go out to the court. Patty's gonna, going to make her way out into the court to congratulate the winners. What a roll, I will use Patty's words, what a roller coaster of a match. I really thought it was going to go to a tiebreaker there. There were plenty of uh, ebbs and flows in this match. I think it came down to just the final execution of uh, Anika and Nicolescu spotting their drives very, very well, lobbing and spotting their drives um, was really the, the difference there. Thank you again to our umpire, Mark Bliss, as we prepare the court for the presentation. And I don't think this is a bad match for Kiro and Medeiros. I think it's actually a perfect next step for preparing for the Nationals in Chicago. In a few weeks, they're going to take this match, look at it. Uh, a lot of great things in this match came from this match. And they will be ready for the Nationals. Absolute legitimate top four team. And we'll see when the points play out. Um, if they do move from six into the top four, I suspect they will. Okay, we're going down to the court with Patty Hogan. Roxy and Gabby, just one of the most extraordinary women's championship matches I've ever seen. I've been around a long time. That was spectacular. You started the season off winning at Montclair. You guys backed it up here with a tremendous win. Short Hills, today I'm going to start with you, Gabby. Thank you, Patty. Well, first I want to thank uh, the Shore Hills Tournament organization, the tournament director, our referee for lasting it, um, our opponents for always giving us a heck of a run. And we haven't had one match against them without several match points going both, both directions. Uh, thank you, partner, for being amazing and putting up with me. Um, thank you, Patterson, for sponsoring me and, and supporting me in my endeavors and my partner. And it's just a pleasure to be here, and it couldn't have been a better tournament. Thank you. Roxy and Ika, how about this crowd here for you? My crowd! My fan club! New Canaan Field Club! Thank you guys so much for being the best. Um, you started back in September, and ever since then, you guys just keep surprising me. So thank you so much for being here, being loud, being on my corner. Win or lose, I just couldn't be happier. Um, last but not least, I couldn't be here, even though I'm cramping like crazy, without the help of Dr. Brian Nathanson, who is taking care of me, and that's the reason why I'm still here. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you for always taking the time to, to help me out and help me still be here compete. And thank you to all of you for such a great event. It couldn't be any better. Congratulations, Gabby. champs. Gabby for... Um, putting up with me. Uh, we have our highs and lows, but uh, she's always there. She's a rock, so I couldn't have asked for a better partner. So thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks, everyone. Now go watch the men's finals. Great job. Thank you very much. That's a wrap from the women's final, one of the best women's matches I've seen in a, in a long time. Fantastically done. And we will Jump over to the men's final match. If you haven't uh, switched over already, have a great day. High performance never tasted Woo! this good. Chocolate, berries, cinnamon, agave. Fuel your body with the shot and the bar. 
Now available in a deliciously energizing power pack. See how much farther you can go with Remedy Plus. Welcome to CI Private Wealth. Here, you'll find a profoundly different wealth management experience. With the strength of our parent, CI Financial, we've built a diverse, world-class wealth management firm at a size and scale like no other. That means no matter how complex, extreme, or niche your wealth goals may be, you'll be matched with an advisor who can help navigate all of life's many challenges whether personal or professional, so you can stay focused on the journey. Our advisors are the reason why our strategies are so unique, why our services are so personal, and why your wealth management experience can be so profoundly different. Get started today 